Good evening. In the bulletin tonight, the Deputy Prime Minister calls on PTA member states to mobilize their resources to ensure the speedy establishment of a trade and development bank. The Anglican Diocese of Mashonaland hands over St. Mary's Early Learning Center to the government. And the 1st Zimbabwe Military Police Emergency Unit completes training. The Deputy Prime Minister, Comrade Simon Mzenda, has called on member states of the Preferential Trade Area, PTA, to mobilize their resources to ensure the speedy establishment of a trade and development bank in the sub-region. Comrade Mzenda made the call in the capital today when he officially opened the first extraordinary meeting of Ministers of Trade, Finance and Planning in the PTA region. The bank should also play a crucial role in devising and providing special measures in the form of long-term loans on the concessionary terms for the establishment of more industries. Bulawayo police have confirmed the death of a ZANU-PF member of the youth wing, Comrade Moses Moyo, in Wange Hospital yesterday following an unprovoked attack by ZAPU supporters. The late Comrade Moyo was hit by a stone while ZANU-PF supporters were conducting district elections for the youth and women's leagues last weekend. The body of Comrade Moyo will be escorted by police from Wange to Musume in Berengwa for burial tomorrow. The former Minister for Home Affairs, Comrade Alexio Mozingwa, was sworn in as Deputy Minister for Energy Development, Water Resources and Development at State House today. Comrade Mozingwa, 42, who is also Provincial Secretary for ZANU PF Mashonaland West Province, lost his cabinet post in a reshuffle in January this year. He is the first senior party official to publicly announce that he will dispose his business establishments in compliance with the party's leadership code adopted at the August Congress. It was exactly 100 years yesterday when the Berlin Conference was held in Germany by 14 European countries and the United States to partition Africa, setting a dangerous precedent that shattered the image of the continent. Since that fateful day, November the 15th, 1884, Africa became a hunting ground for fortune seekers, gold prospectors, followed by a rampant economic degradation that subjugated the people of the region to oppression and exploitation. The St. Mary's Early Learning Center was officially handed over as a gift to the Ministry of Community Development and Women's Affairs by the Anglican Diocese of Mashonaland today. The center was built by the Van Leer Foundation in 1974 and donated to the Anglican Diocese in 1977 and it holds preschool facilities. The center was handed over to the Ministry of Construction which in turn handed it over to the Minister of Community Development and Women's Affairs, Comrade Teurai Ropanongo. The center will incorporate training facilities for preschool trainers who will be deployed at district level to train untrained preschool personnel and provide the necessary in-service training. It is my hope that standardization of preschool activities will be achieved by development of national core curricula for use at preschool centers and for training purposes. The first Zimbabwe military police emergency platoon graduated at the army headquarters in Harare today. ZBC reporter Joseph Madziva has more on the passing out parade. The 60 members of the platoon went through three months of intensive training in ant riot, mob dispersion, elements of rescue operations covering hijackings and national disasters. The platoon demonstrated some of its newly acquired skills, such as this one involving a riotous mob.